The system has allowed Namibian beef products to be rated amongst the best globally and has gained export status to European, American and Asian markets. The Sudanese official says he is impressed with the growth of the agricultural sector in Namibia and that this system will serve as a perfect model for his country. And for you to have gone this level and for EGAT to have also organized the IC to see this facility, I think I'm going back with enormous gain in knowledge and see how we shall shape our policies so as to, to start. Similarly, Uganda's Minister of Animal Industry, Joy Kabatsi, revealed that her country has about 12 million cattle, which have not yielded any desirable returns due to a lack of such systems. It is so important for our country, Uganda, to learn from this. Because for us, we are just starting. We are actually starting to build the first two feedlots. So I'm going to take the ideas I've got from here to my country and see whether we can put them in practice. In addition, Director of the Intergovernmental Authority on Development, Muchina Munua, says African nations must promote inter-regional trade and not solely rely on foreign markets. Africa presently imports $3.5 billion worth of meat and meat products from outside Africa. Why should Zimbabwe, for example, or why should Kenya or any other country in Africa import meat from Europe or Brazil or whatever, while we have Namibia here? The delegation visited the Okapuka Tannery, which is situated some 20 kilometers north of the capital. IGAT facilitated the visit to Namibia and aims to enhance trade amongst African nations through the sharing of information, skills and expertise. Kaipa Yurekanji, NBC News, Okapuka.